It's a beautiful day down in Georgetown, Guyana. It's sunny, it's bright. You know, it's kind of windy as well. Hey, today I feel like making a power soup. You know, last week I was trying to get corn that I finally got it on Saturday at the market. So today I want to make for you a corn soup, which we locally call guan oil in Guyana. Guan oil or guan oil. You know, it's a it's a power builder soup, man, which is made from corn, thick leaf callaloo, in regular season, coconut milk, like shallot, um, celery, fine thyme, broad thyme, you know. So I'm running down on some chicken foot. You can, you can add a little meat if you want, but I am adding some chicken foot today. So I'm heading down to the Rosignal Butchery to get me some chicken foot. I don't know if they're open, but I'm just making a try. I am all protected, you know. I have my, my gloves, I have my face mask, and I'm heading down there to see if I can grab some chicken foot. And also to have a look what it looks like around Georgia. I know it's not safe, but you know, I'm still taking the chances. So join me and let's run down to Rosenthal Butchery and the market to see what's going on. Got some guys fishing there in the market area here. So the market is kind of open back. See over there, you can get your nice provision and all your vegetables and you know greens. So I am heading to Rosignal, which is on Charge Road or Charge Street, and they seems to be having something here. I see a little line in front. Unless you gotta line up to go in, I guess. Oh yeah, oh you have to order. It looks like you have to order outside and wait. For your order they're not um, allowing you to go inside the building but this right there is the Rosignal butchery if you don't want to go into the market you can come out here and get your stuff so you have a lot of guys here picking up their stuff at the moment and you can see the market across there it's still operating but on a small scale not too many people are out today so I'm gonna place my order here and get my stuff so you can see they're well stuck up in here but we have to make our purchase through this gate in order to stay safe but we as Guyanese, we don't have a problem with that, all right? Because our safety comes okay. first. Finished picking up my chicken foot. And I bought me two whole chicken as well. I'm heading to the border market. Last week I came here and the market was all closed because they were sanitizing it. But looks like we are back to normal. You know, a lot of folks out here selling. A few folks are out here. Of the coconut man, the coconut vendor. Most of the stands are closed. How much is it, Tickleaf? Tickleaf, two and a half pesos. Give me five hundred dollars, please. So I got in some Tickleaf kalu here. No, darling, just the kalu. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. I still got a few people in the market here getting the stuff. Some stands are open still. Because you know people need food. So I guess we have to take the chances.
market look like usual. And the good thing with Guyana, man, we have a lot of food here. We can't go hungry. We just gonna have to learn to distance ourselves from each other and stay safe. I know it's a risk every time you leave your house or your home to come out on the street. It is indeed a risk. But it's a risk some of us may have to take. So, I'm making my way back into the kitchen. I'm back in the kitchen. And you can see I have my thick leaf kalu there. I got my chicken foot. I got my corn. And this is a, these are some local corn. That since I'm a boy growing up, I know Guyana have this one. This is not the sweet corn. This is a different species of corn. I got my, some thick leaf here that I already cleaned, have in the bag. I got my, my, my weary, weary pepper. I got celery over there. I got broad thyme. I got basil, a married man, and I have my fine thyme there. Onion, garlic, coconut milk. Now, edos and ginger is not two ingredients that is required to go into this corn soup or, or gun oil. But I'm putting them because I love my ginger and I love my edos. And this, I preheat the new water there. So I'm gonna put the corn in to start boiling because this corn here is a Guyanese um, corn, it's a local corn, not the sweet corn. It's more, the texture is more uh, form, it's more hard, it takes longer to boil. And over here, my lovely wife made, um, these are sweet corn, she boiled sweet corn. We got some nice chewed chicken there. And we got some broccoli over there, steamed broccoli. So, you know, we are practicing to eat healthy, trying to boost the immune system and stay safe. Look at the beauty, look at the awesomeness here. This is what my corn soup looking like. Look at all those seasoning in there. We got the shallot, celery, basil, which is married man, fine thyme, broad thyme, pepper. I'm adding the edo already. This is the edos and this is the corn. So these here are gonna boil up here in the meantime and fall in love. Then I'm gonna add my coconut milk next, grate my ginger and that kalaloo over there. Adding my coconut milk. I'm adding two pints of coconut milk because coconut milk is one of the main ingredients for the gun oil. So I'm gonna add my chicken foot in a minute. I have to go clean them first. And I get this some help from this fine young lady over here, Megan, helping me clean the onion and the garlic. So I have to give her thanks for that, all right? So, be back in a minute. All the foot already cleaned up. So now you want to make sure you wash your chicken foot in vinegar. Okay, you let it set for about five minutes in there to kill any bacteria that is on the chicken foot. So I'm gonna let that sit, then I'm gonna rinse it and I'm gonna put these into that right there. We can oil boil in the way here, man. I need to add some salt and the chicken foot. So after five minutes, I rinse the chicken foot. Now I'm adding it into this scar soup. Turn this up. Look at the goodness here. You know. Now I'm gonna add my salt. And because it's a huge pot of 
So, you want to add two teaspoons of salt. Turn this up. This thing smells good. Now, I'm going to add my ginger. Ginger is optional. You don't have to add it. You add it if you want. But I love my ginger, I love my garlic. I love cooking with it. This is my tikki kalu. I'm gonna burst some of these pepper in right here to open that flavor, that taste. Marjorie pepper is a really good pepper when it comes to seasoning to give it flavor and taste to your food. It really smells good. It doesn't have too much heat, it's just perfect. Now, look at that greatness. I'm gonna just cook for about another 30 minutes and it's ready to eat. Let me check on that goodness. Wow. Looking good, y'all. This one I'll really, really come into life. Eh? Another 15 minutes and this is good to go. As long as the corn and the chicken foot boil and the water evaporates a little so those seeds that can come down and infuse and taste better. So the edo that I put already dissolved to get the thickness of this soup. Look at the awesomeness here. My gonad is ready. After one hour, life couldn't get better. So, let's show you right through how you just taste the gonad. How about all you ask the man to sell it couldn't see wild. Let me get my coffee mug. So this is how you just drink the gonad. Then rest the man to sell it couldn't see wild. Let me turn off the stove. And this is what you just buy from the seawall for $200. A dollar US. All right? Let me taste it. This is the greatness, y'all. Ay, ay, ay. This thing really tastes good. Nah, it tastes good. It tastes good for real. This is a power soup. This say we Guyanese believe or Caribbean people believe that we'll make a power soup like this say after a hard day's work or a hard night's work, you build back the body, build back the immune system. So that's what I'm doing it. I started a diet, an exercise program, three weeks now. And yes, for the last three weeks, I haven't had any alcohol. I didn't have any dairy product no egg no milk no cheese no meat except for today now i'm gonna eat chicken foot i mean it's part of dairy product but for the last three weeks or more i haven't had any meat to eat maybe the meat i cut off about about a month now i didn't stop eating meat but i look at a, a documentary on netflix uh the game changer and after looking at that documentary i realize what meat is doing to your body so that is why i'm making all these power soup using fish well i'm using the chicken foot right now i'm making a lot of veg vegetable stuff as i showed you earlier my fish made by corn broccoli asparagus of course you made some chickens too and she and the girls and my key gonna eat that but i'm not eating that so i want to stay healthy practice healthy living healthy lifestyle and oh yes, I didn't have no vodka or no alcohol for the last three weeks. Since I had my, my fish broth, I took the last shot from the vodka bottle. I didn't drink back anything. So, and if you look at me, I lost some weight. I lost about 10 pounds. Since Christmas, 
I gained about 12 pounds. I've already threw off 10, so I'm good. So guys, thank you for watching this video. I mean, you can try out this recipe at, at home, the gonal slash corn soup. Nothing hard, it's simple um, recipe. It tasted great. You can make it without the chicken foot. You can make it vegetarian, this is not a problem. Or you can use meat. You wanna use beef, chicken, whatever you wanna use. You can use fish. Remember, cooking is all about how you want to create your dish. You have the traditional way and you have your way, the way you create your dish. So I created my dish. I, I included ginger and edos, which is not part of the recipe. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, you can hit that like button. Please share this video. Peace out. This is all I got for now. See you in the next video.